morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, members of the Fort Estate. Uh, this morning, uh, we have called you here um, basically to share uh, a few issues uh, with uh, the people of Kisi County. Um, as a Department of Health, we find it very prudent that uh, our people in Kisi Town, I mean Kisi County, should know what is happening in the department, what work is being done uh, for them through the Department of Health, in so far as service delivery is concerned. And therefore, uh, we want to take this opportunity uh, to inform our people on various developmental activities that are currently being undertaken by the county government of Kisi through the Department of Health as follows. Uh, we all know that uh, since His Excellency, the governor of the Kisi County, took over, a number of things have been done uh, in the Department of Health. Uh, these issues or these activities that are being taken undertaken in the county, we very well know that have uh, um, a lot of ramifications in so far as the well-being of our people is concerned. For those ones who have gone around the county, uh, the county of Kisi, you have seen a lot of uh, infrastructural development being undertaken uh, in, in far as health issues are concerned. Actually, uh, recently, you saw His Excellency, the President of the country, uh, launching the construction of the cancer center, uh, which uh, we all know is a game changer uh, in so far as the war against the cancer is concerned. Once this uh, center is completed, uh, so many people will benefit because we know uh, our brothers and sisters travel for long distance outside the country in car of expenses going to get treatment uh, uh, on cancer in India and other, Afri and other countries outside, outside Africa. But now once this center is complete, our people will get services here, closer home. And that is what the government of Kisi is doing, ensuring that service is brought, is brought closer to the people. That is number one. Number two, uh, a lot of facelifting is being done in our facilities across the county. You know we have over 161 facilities, hospitals in the county. Uh, we have started doing a lot of renovations. I want to mention a few. Uh, in Keumbu, if you go there today, level four, the facility now looks modern. A lot of work has been done there. A lot of facilifting is, uh, is actually under, has been under, over, undertaken. Uh, basically to ensure that the facility lives up to the standards that is required in an hospital of level 4. Go to Iabe, level 4 hospital. A lot of work is being undertaken there. You go to Gesusu, go to Nya, uh, uh, Magenche uh, uh, LT Center. The facility is also undergoing some uh, construction. Ibacho, and so many of them. This is what the Department of Health is doing through the Office of His Excellency the Governor. A lot of resources have been put there because we promised our people that we shall deliver and ensure that health services in the county uh, reach to, to as many people as possible. On the issues of uh, facilities that are, have not been opened. I know we have uh, done a lot of constructions and there's a number of facilities that have not been uh, opened. For example, Rihanna Level 4 Hospital has been constructed and equipped given modern equipment. We have Mosocho uh, Level 4 Hospital which has also been constructed uh, and they've been equipped. 
we are in the process of wanting to open these facilities and therefore it calls for the county government to move with speed and ensure that we have enough manpower. Uh, that is the human resource are uh, posted to those facilities. And therefore, the county government of Kisi has set aside some funds, which funds are going to be used in the recruitment of more health workers, so that these health workers can be posted to those facilities that we have uh, around, the, around the 10 of them already been completed, so that uh, these facilities can start functioning and offering services to our people. So, uh, the people of Kisi, I want to tell you that uh, soon our public service board is going to start the recruitment of more health workers because money has been set aside in our budget in this financial year. And this money is going to go a long way in ensuring that we have enough health workers in those facilities because I know we have gaps. Uh, in terms of human resource. So the Public Service Board is going to, to do advertisement to recruit these officers and post them to these facilities. We want to inform the members of public outside there because we have information that now we are going to do the recruitment. People have started being told that they give money. And information has reached to our office that people are being told to give some money so that they can get recruited. We want to tell uh, the members of the public that our recruitment process is going to be very transparent, uh, open, and competitive. We, jobs are going to be advertised on the newspapers. The qualified individuals will be recruited competitively. The information that we have received already has gone to the police that the people are soliciting for money because recruitment is going to happen. Please don't give anyone money. No one should lie to you that you must give money for you to get employed. We are not going to allow that. If you give your money, that will be a problem. But the board is going to handle this process overboard. No inducement of any nature is going to be accepted. Number three, we know uh, Governor uh, went round during the elections and promised that uh, most of our employees are going to benefit from promotions. Because we know if our people are not motivated, our staff are not motivated, then the service delivery will suffer. We want to announce today that money has been set aside uh, and the promotions are going to start immediately so that our officers across all the cadres will benefit. In the last financial year, uh, we had started this process. Why it has taken some time is because we wanted to ensure that enough resources have been set aside which has been now provided for in this financial year, 2024-2025. These resources are going to be used prudently in ensuring that every staff, every employee who qualifies for this promotion benefits in the Department of Health. The same is going to happen across other departments because already chief officers have been instructed to ensure that the process begins so that staff across the county start benefiting from the promotions that are going to be undertaken. So those ones who qualify and merit for the promotions are going to benefit in the department. Number four. Let me talk about revenue. We know for us to be able to improve our facilities, we must have resources. So the Department of Health has embarked on a uh, a very aggressive process of ensuring that automation on our revenue, for, I mean revenue correction, takes place. And therefore, recently, through competitive procurement process, we have enlisted a firm that is now undertaking the automation process, the HMIS, which is going to ensure that our revenue correction and our processes in our facilities is automated. So that with the queues that you see at KTRH and the most of the level force is going to be 
uh, a thing of the past because our processes will be will be automated we are going to start with the KTRH and the level 4 which are level 4 hospital and the same is going to be cascaded down to all level 4s level 3s level 2s and level 1 in the next uh, few months so automation has begun is being undertaken across the, the department and this is going to be a game changer in as far as in so far as service delivery in our facilities is concerned ladies and gentlemen recently we procured uh, uh, drugs uh, worth over 110 million this is going to help our people access cheap drugs in our facilities because we know in government we we offer our prices are relatively cheap and therefore the shortages of drugs that we have had in the past happening in the county is going not is not going to happen again because drugs now are available and we are asking our officers manning our facilities across the county that our drugs must be taken care of and any dispensation of these drugs to the patients must be recorded must be documented uh, our our people in HPTU uh, are under instructions to ensure that all the drugs that are, the drugs movement register is kept right from the stores to the pharmacy to the people receiving these drugs uh, we have recently developed an app and this app is monitoring this movement of drugs across from the stores to the dispensaries i mean to the pharmacies to the individuals receiving these drugs uh, on training i know we must continuously train our human resource a number of officers have gone out for long-term training courses and we are currently working on short-term training programs for all our officers so that they acquire the necessary skills which they can use in ensuring that service delivery is improved across our facilities so officers have been encouraged to apply for training programs uh, and our director for medical services is already uh, uh, doing the same because data is being collected on the officers who qualify and merit for the trainings and therefore uh, soon you are going to see a number of officers going out for the same uh, on the issue to deal with the service delivery we know governor has always been very 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 uh, uh, keen on service delivery across our facilities you had recently we did some transfers which were basically meant to ensure that service delivery is not compromised across the facilities these transfers have gone a long way in improving this service delivery in our facilities and officers who were recently transferred have information we have have reported to those facilities and therefore uh, our people in Kisi we ask you to go to those facilities please in case of anything that any of you realize that there's no person going I mean there's no officer in those facilities report because already our officers the charges in the facilities have been instructed to ensure that service is not compromised and everything is done as per the regulations that we have set in the county uh, you, you saw recently His Excellency commissioning the uh, the operationalization of uh, our uh, postnatal and oncology centers at KTRH, which have already been equipped, uh, which I would want my brother here, Dr. Marita, to just expound on what is currently happening at the oncology and the postnatal uh, those units in the facility and what these two units have done in ensuring that services in at KTRH is going on well. Dr. Marita, please, you can come and say something about it. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I want to pick from where Wazir left. As he highlighted, 
at the Kisi Teaching and Far Hospital uh, through uh, the initiatives of our Excellence the Governor. We are uh, up and about to make sure service delivery is at its best. Recently, uh, through the Governor, we launched our oncology unit and this is to ensure that the patients who have been leaving Kisi to get chemotherapy services in either Eldoret or in Nairobi or elsewhere are able to get these services right here in Kisi. And we thank our governor for the same and we look forward for more. I'm aware that uh, also through the uh, executive, we were allocated some funds to ensure the doctor's plaza and the mother and child hospital is operationalized. This is to be able to help us improve the service points because we keep getting more and more traffic to the facility and therefore we need more space and work is already going on in earnest to ensure that the two facilities are operationalized soonest. Our postnatal ward which we recently also opened through the governor we are happy to report that we are still uh, now seeing more mothers than before because there's more space available uh, for them. And we encourage our mothers, no one in this era should deliver at home. We have enough facilities, enough workforce, not only at KTRH, but also across the county to ensure that our mothers safely deliver in our hospitals. Thank you very much. <coughs> Yes, the numbers at KTRH, if you go there, is huge. And the space that we currently have is getting more and more congested and constricted. And therefore, that's why I mentioned that through the governor, he's already uh, working uh, hand in hand. Uh, uh, with the executive to ensure that our mother and child uh, hospital is fully operationalized. I work is ongoing there with the contractor and he has given us assurance that by the end of this year, he should be handing over the facility to us so that now all our mothers and the children can be seen from one space. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, allow me also to invite Dr. Matipo. Yeah talk about one or two issues that we have not highlighted for purposes of informing our members of the public. I'm going to try this by doing this. Mm. Uh, Nduguzangu wanahabari na wananchi wa Kisi County. Uh, ningependa kuwa tarifu kwamba gavana wetu uh, Simba Rati amekuwa na miradi mbalimbali mbali, ili kuhakikisha kwamba wananchi wetu wa Kisi County wanapata huduma za afya hadi kule mashinani. Kando na ujenzi wa vituo mbalimbali vya afya na hospitali uh, kama vile Riana na Mosocho Level 4 Hospitals kumekuwepo na mipangilio ya kuhakikisha kwamba wataalamu wetu ama specialists wanafika kwenye hospitali hizi ili kupunguza adha ya wagonjwa kusafiri kutoka vijiji mbalimbali mbali, kuja katika hospitali ya KTRH. Na ningependa kutumia fursa hii kusema kwamba waliopo watatumwa katika hospitali hizo lakini gavana wetu pia ameruhusu wengine waende kwa masomo zaidi ili watakaporudi na tutakapokuwa tumefungua cancer center na hospitali nyingine ambazo tunafungua wawe tayari katika kutoa huduma. Kingine ambacho ningetaka kumshukuru uh, gavana wetu ni kwamba tangia alipoingia ofisini tumekuwa na maombi ya kisha kwamba wafanyakazi wetu katika county nzima wanapata promotions wale ambao hawapo kazini kuna mapungufu tuweze kuajiri wafanyakazi wengine na nashukuru kwa sababu gavana wetu Simba Arati uh, tangia mwaka jana katika mfumo wa kufanya budget Amekisha kwamba hela hiyo imewekwa tayari kwa ajili ya kuajiri wafanyakazi watakaoenda katika vituo hivi vipya vya afya na pia kwa wale wafanyakazi wote wa county katika idara tofauti tofauti waweze kupata hizi promotions ambazo wamekuwa hawajapata katika utawala uliopita. 
na tunataka kuhakikishia wananchi wote kwamba katika zoezi hili hakuna mwananchi yote atakayeitishwa pesa yote japokuwa tuna taarifa kwamba baadhi ya watu tayari wameshaanza kuitisha pesa kutoka kwa wananchi hicho ni kitu ambacho tunataka kuwatahadharisha kwamba zoezi hili litafanyika kwa uwazi kabisa na mtu asije akakudanganya kwamba kuna hongo itakayo kuinahitajika na natarajia kwamba tunapozidi kwenda mbele kwa sababu ukiangalia kwa kaunti zote katika taifa la Kenya hakuna kaunti yenye specialists wengi kama kisi kwa hivyo nina imani kwamba kwa mwongozo anaotupatia uh, governor wetu Simba Rati baada ya muda mchache kisi kaunti itakuwa ndio inaongoza katika nyanja mbalimbali zinazohusiana na utoaji wa afya asante <coughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> ndugu zangu uh, vile wenzangu wamenena. Vile wenzangu wamenena. Um Ndagete mangana ya so bwenga seke gusi eri abantu bayito banyaye kuigwa amangana to agambire bono mambia ntomanye tenga ega asipado erebosibo ito ne nyinge lakini mune department ya health ndutu amu irenga ntobe toko ba manya ega si toko kora se department ya tokere ngachinga kia asenge ncho goikamo manye ngikegendere da se serikali ya ito ya kisi county asobo koreri wega si asaba na inchi baito be county ntomanye tenga aba nyagitari baito ase miyake menge mbanya kona ya chi promotion lakini ndere rondo no mogoko Utanga sanga chipe sa chiave kwa se budget chigo cha kutumeka kwa wakishanga ba jikita leo ito bonds banyo re chip promotion kiagera onye ba jikita ali mbali na mgoko gasi tega kora kana biya na ba na inji ba kanya la service chini chini ya chigo ba kwenye kanya ora kera ba chini jikita leo ito higo omoga ba no ito onyari le kubeka chipe ese budget chipe ese chyo chigo cha nao go wakorega siyo kwa kikisha nga ba ntoba ito ba very promoted tari department ya health yoka chiti department chions e process yengo cha akere already data ya jaya kwa collected ese nge ncho yoko wa kikisha nga ba ntoba ito haba kore vite ga aspanyo le chipe promotion ya chyo na kwane ile na ambaye bere ntomanye tenga obu agachi obongi bwa koreka na sime account ya kisi chinyagira chinyinge chi agachiru ntomaye tenga ntobwate ntobwate bakoreye ga sibai saine abande ba retire abande ba chire jitra ba nyore chi ga singa ba chire abande ba resigniri abande ba ba kure chiba sia tengru kando chigo cha kuhakikisha nganyagite chi nyari ko agachwa na barwe abanyagitare abanyari ko genda kuri katora abanyagitari azi chinyagitari cyo cyonsi cya gusi eriyo abanenji bagusi banyakonya services kirijiga neri asinyagitari echo keto cha kora kuri koko twegure nga already emekora yachakire goeta round go sababu abantu kibesa watayi abantu nga nga kibesa ngo konya kuri kwa tigamba tangasire nga undora nya kuri kibesa ari kwe gasito kwenyora to basa kungainu okori ukuoko ego cha koru mubas ese in an open way transparent way ego bari bara qualify kori kwa imori kwe asenge esengera yekene eto cha kutangaza chikase icho ke cha tangasiru abantu bate bwa apply bari bara be successful imonya ade kori ukyagara e body yaito ya rosu na ande okore ga singia ya tebirenga okori kukura akore kane se kaundi ya kisi ekora abo kuri kwa kwa bene wotabu wa tebako wala bonde buwensi 
itogandra yatako kwa ramanga na yoko koro wakigisha nga wosangiri kutu wichipa yase county ya ito kato wajira selekari wakua nengo kwa rekana ase enchira ya cash lakini wano ndo wakua na iga ase nyagira rejeto chonsi ya gusi tuachire cashless wachaka muna tuwa jagira selekari iga chipa yasi chiko wakua collected wetele till number mwonto ndo kwensi uranga inua aru chipa yasa cash ase nyagitari chipa yasa chia yeje chira asire kia nchito konya la konyora service ebyo wendo konyora kere kwa rechipa yasa cash wakura nche mwurele ndo kwensi uranga nyagitari make sure wasabire till number wose wose baby number waka nechipa yasa wetele say baby wose till number yera nyako toka sinyagitari kia nchika 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 Nchibu wata chisi namba, chiti waka ni chibu esa kwa mwaka nyore service. Tuwachake na wakara mangana ya automation. Ntubu wata teke ndo kuro kunga HMIS, Health Information Management System. Ya chaki na wakara kubi kwa kwa KTRH. Omo singi uchake na kubi kwa KTRH, kubi kwa kwa KTRH, amo ne nyakitari enda ya gucha. Ketu wakore kubi kwa nyakitari ya chibere. Ntunya hale kwa enesa, the same automation process as nyakitari ya chionsi. Chia level 4s, level 3s, level 2s na level 1. Eri yoto nya areko meki shuwa nga services. Chia nya yako wachi ku improve. Aba ante wako na nyakita wabe kira inye ntambe. Lakini ketu wabe kira kwa nende system weyo. Mwenye areko rachire ni chia keire. Weka na nyakita wabe kira wakura wana hawa. Waru wari kwa nangabuo waji kutimuka. Ikuwa mangana inagendre rete. Wakura kana ase chinyakita wabe chedo chia magusi. Okuwa nda somo eri yo. Ego togo sahaba nyakita adewa ito bons. Ese babeta. Now that. Ese lekari ya abegri chibi esa. Mwocha kwa ba promote. Teka mwra anche. Kore laba na inchi baito ega asingi ya. Kia gara bono. Mwocha mwocha promotion. Kori katula ba nyakita adewa ande. Ego ntubu wa disababu. Mwocha na inchi ala ala miki inge sabi. Ese tiringi ya. Ntubu maeta ba nyakita adewa ito nega asingi ya mwokora. Lakini toko ba sahaba. Mwocha ndra wako lega asijo. Kwa konya ba ntubu ito. Area department ya ito ya health. Kia gano mga ba na promise dinga ama nga na yo kuruwari wukwa ba nto ba gusi. Nanya ada kwa koreka na asingi jaya bene na andaba ntoba nyele sabi singi ya. E kia gara e kine kia kwa resa lakari ku exist. Kwa toko lega asia sobu gamo, tutuwa lege nteke me gerenge kamo, tunyo ada kome si gusi ya ito. Bia mono.